in 2011, I was in the earthquake in New Zealand. Um, I was living just outside Christchurch in a little village called Littleton, and it was where the epicentre was. Um, it was mental. Oh, yeah, we've skipped past all them. <laughs> um, we didn't have running water for five days. We didn't have electric for three days. When the food in the fridge ran out, we didn't know what we were going to eat. Um, the, the main street of Littleton got completely trashed, and it was where all the cash points, shops, bars, restaurants, everything was all on this main street. Um, so there was nothing. It was like the world had ended as we knew it in this tiny little village. And one of the cafes set up festival style at the end of London Street. And they made lattes for people. And when you went to pay, they said, we don't want any money. We're doing it for the love. And with that one action, it changed the whole thing for me. Suddenly it went from being like being in a war zone to being a festival. And there were tables and chairs and people started chatting and suddenly cake appeared and someone had a little wind up radio. And people started to talk to each other. And we started, we were all traumatized and we just started to relax. It, it was, yeah, it was nuts. Um, the most incredible thing was that people were kind to each other. The first thing that people said to you is, are you okay? Random strangers were just doing random acts of kindness. We got fed in the evening by the Navy. Um, we got fed in lunchtime by one of the local health food shops. They salvaged some of their stock from their business, which had got trashed, and they fed us. Um, so when I got back to Britain, uh, I, yeah, I realised that life was too short to not do what you love doing. So I started storytelling. Um, I couldn't go into a shop for a while without crying because Britain was in a recession and what I'd experienced in New Zealand was everybody looking after each other. And when I got back here, it was, um, it was the total opposite. Um, businesses were putting prices up to keep profits. And I can't, I can't tell you what it's like when everybody looks after each other. Um, so I naively thought that if I went around telling everybody about it, then things would change. Um, I got funding to get a yurt um, and I did these little story evenings because I realised that people had kind of shut off from each other. People didn't really speak to each other anymore. And um, so, yeah, so I drove through France and Spain and Portugal having these random little storytelling evenings where people brought food or a song or a story, something to share, something to get people talking to each other, to see past you know, what your eyes are seeing, to see beyond into the person. Um, so yeah, I had five random, wonderful evenings. And before I left, I realised I was staying with my mum at the time, and I didn't even know some of the neighbours of my mum's. So I thought it might be a good idea to maybe start there. Um, so I went round and knocked on everybody's door and said, I'm going to be doing this, driving through France and Spain and Portugal. And everyone went a bit like that. And I said, I don't want any money. I just thought it'd be a nice thing to do here. And everyone went, oh, yeah. So we did it, and it was lovely, and they still talk about it. The, um, so the other bit was social, um, yeah, trying to promote social change. Um, so basically, what I realised was if just people are kind to each other and you can change someone's life just by being kind to them. Um, so February the 22nd um, is the anniversary of the earthquake uh, at 22 minutes past one in the afternoon. So I've stuck a thing on Facebook. It's called For the Love. Um, and I just want to invite everybody to just do something for the love on, it doesn't matter if it's that day or a different day or a different time, but just do something for the love. Um, just, you know, there's so much hate and anger and nonsense going on in the world. I just thought it'd be nice. So, um, yeah, wherever you are, whatever you want to do, doesn't matter. Just do something for the love. Thank you.